Yo, welcome Fronies. So the global launch is about to hit and I want to show you quickly today on how you can either look up your own builds or how you can theory craft everything on one site. There are actually multiple websites that um, offer like different services like databases, codexes, builders and all of that. But I have personally prefer questlog.gg that we're going to take a look at here. Because whenever there was like an update in Korea, they adapted to the new things the fastest and we're always back up to date the fastest and on the site is everything that you need. So for example, you want to know anything about the game, like whatever. You want to just search it. The database here is data mine, and you can, if you're going for the send general search button here, you can get any information basically. So let's say I want to know uh, um, like what different rods are there for fishing. You can just enter rod and you will see the all the fishing rods that's in there. It's really self-explanatory and helps a lot to figure out where like certain items are, how to get them, and all of that. If you, for example, don't have the ability to look to click on to how to acquire in-game, because that's not available for all items. Then the next thing that they're having is the gear viewer. Often you have gear overviews where you just can go and you can click and like see a single item right here. You can see all the uh, um, stats that the items have basically on one go it makes it a lot easier to decide what might be the best in slot weapon for your build sorry to interrupt but short self-promotion is needed currently 91.2 percent of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel so let's make a deal if you learn something new in this video you have to subscribe then something that I always use to plan my end game activities. This is the event calendar here. I use this to, depending on when I get off work, to schedule the rest of my farm time of the day. Now let's come to the core of the website. This is the character builder. Here you can enter whatever weapon combination you want. If you want to be like a DPS or a tank, if it's not already basically defined by the weapon combination or maybe some off meta build. And here you will then see all the builds that are possible and other people have already uploaded. They are currently also working on a ranking system. So those builds can be ranked by the people, which makes it easier to find like the good builds out of that variety here and based on my own build i will show you how the website actually functions what information you should be looking for and how to approach making your own gear and build for your whatever you like to play so when you're for example choosing an item it's a, it's a drop down menu right here. Um, here you will select the upgrades. Here you will be able to select the runes, the runes itself and the rune synergy effect for the additional stats. Then in the bottom you can select the trade and the resonance. So everything that is currently in game can also be adapted here, which I think is really neat about the website is the options to already see the stats that you're getting in game. And I like it if you're hovering over it, it will tell you exactly which sources of your gear are providing you with those benefits. So one general rule, global, when we are only having like tier one purple gear available, you will want to stack evasion. Evasion is by far the best defensive stat. And if you're playing PvP, this will be 100% mandatory. On the other hand, other people will stack evasion as well, right? So you need to stack hit. So it's a bit like, if you're able to get a build going yeah that is still dealing a bunch of damage or it's like really tanky or can heal well while still having a nice hit rate and high evasion those are the builds that will excel in the early game of a server launch also gear is not everything so every good build also needs skills and you can do individual skill sets for your characters and in the skill set you will be able to choose the masteries for your class for example like here i have a ryan's like in pvp i'm rather going for the movement speed that quick stat gaps but in pve i would rather go for brutal wound for example all the skills already have the new skill specializations attached to them so here in the menu you can select exactly what you want you will get a brief overview and in the next part here you can also add the order in which the skills should be leveled up so it's easier for people to understand like what are the main damage dealers in the early game for example that you use for leveling like here for example that would be quick fire 
that you want to get um, to Epic as fast as possible if you're playing Expo Dagger. I personally also always include in the description a rotation in which order you're pressing the skills to get the most amount of damage. So when you're checking out builds um, from other people, always try to check for the description if they did that as well. Yeah, this was it, like a brief summary on how the website works, what we can get as form of information from the website. One thing you have to make sure here is that you are calculating this is not 100% getting all the information yet. So for example, down here at the passives, yeah, I will see that for example, the assassin instincts is already um, calculated in. But the uh, um, if I'm going into the passives, I will see for example, that we are also having destructive fang because it has a condition with the applied poison, for example, but we are able to apply that almost all of the time. So make sure that those values that are not already calculated in, like the 330 critical hit here, here that you are adding them manually onto your crit stats so you can evaluate the, the builds better. And big shout out to the guys developing the site. They're doing a really, really good job and it's totally free to use. And if you guys still have any questions regarding the site or any other thing about Corona Liberty, just let me know in the comments. As always, I would answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys. Thank you.